Well, hey everyone, how's it going? John here with another Genetry Solar video. Um, in this video, uh, just a real quick vlog type video. I'm trying to get it, it's, it doesn't really show on camera, but the, um, the positive AC side, I've got this, this is a, a 24 volt main board, and I have it charged with uh, 26 volts. I applied the uh, black ice thermal compound. You might be able to see some of it kind of squeezed over. Usually I don't have a problem with that, but I put a little bit too much on there. But anyway, so the uh, the compound is on there. And these main boards here are brand new. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I actually did do it. I sh should have done it before and after because everybody's going to think this is a fake video or something. <laughs> but anyways, um, so... Uh, this left moss board here has the black ice, the electrically conductive thermal compound. This moss board does not have it. Now, I know you can't really tell on camera that well, but if you look at it straight on, you can see that the LED on this moss board is actually brighter than this one. Now, before I applied the compound, they were actually identical as far as illumination. At least to my eyes. This is not scientific. I'm not telling you exactly what's going on here and that this is what you got to do to believe me. But what this actually demonstrates is that not only does the, the thermally or the electrically conductive thermal compound not interfere with the current here, but it actually enhances it. The reason is because it's actually making a better connection to this back plate here as well as I do have some compound on the opposite side of this back plate. So it's actually making a better connection to this heat sink, which is the transformer positive connection right here. So in a way, adding the compound actually does, in fact, improve the, uh, the, the overall connection between the FETs and the, uh, the main board here. So, yeah, um, there you have it. I mean, again, this isn't scientific. There's no trickery here. I'm just, maybe you can see that this light here is actually brighter than this light. I, I can see it, and I can actually see it on camera, that it's brighter. These two were about the same before I applied the compound. So this compound that I'm using, again, for those who don't, no, this is the Black Ice 7-Eleven, and it's from Timtronics. It is electrically conductive thermal compound, which is an absolute must if you're going to be applying any compound at all to these FETs. Just because it says silver does not mean it's silver. And if you only paid, let's say, even less than $20 for your vial of compound... I guarantee you it is not electrically conductive compound. There might be less than 1% silver flakes in that compound because it would be way too expensive for the manufacturer to put actual and real um, precious metals inside that. That's why this vial here is so expensive. Okay? Anyway, so... Uh, yeah, uh, I'm probably going to do a video, um, I actually might, on the uh, on the low side here, I might, the DC side, I might actually show you uh, a demonstration on the thermal camera, the difference between, um, I'll, what I'll do is I'll add the compound to one side and not to the other, so that you can see the difference between the two as far as heat, and I'll try to load it down as high as I can. That'll be for a future video. Anyway. JennaTreeSolar.com Take care.